The National Association of Healthcare Quality just released a report on quality professionals in healthcare. And it turns out that in a lot of the situation, about three quarters of the people responding reported that in their hospital or wherever, that quality was a department. And in about a quarter, quality was individuals working on stuff. So let me be clear about this. Quality is not a department. The only way you're gonna get the level of quality that you wanna achieve, and in healthcare that's zero harm, is to say everybody is involved in quality and everybody understands the tools and everybody moves forward. Just this last week, we had one large hospital uh, ask for a quote for 12,000 licenses of the QI macros. That means they wanna implement quality everywhere. What? All right, this is exciting. All right, this is, uh, this is exciting. I think this is how we can start to get places. But quality is not a department. It is not an individual, right? We have to get everyone engaged in making those little tweaks and changes and everything else that makes everything better all the time and sustains the new levels of performance as we improve. That's where most people fail is in sustaining the improvements. So if you don't understand control charts, you're not gonna understand when it starts to go out of control and what to do about it when that happens. You're not gonna understand. And you'll be right back where you were a few weeks ago. So instead of making quality department, let's make quality the way things happen. It's just something we always do. You know, Ford had that quality as job one, which uh, sounded good, but I'm not sure they ever quite got there, but they were working on it. Uh, so these are the ideas that we want to change, right? But to do that, we have to get more and more people involved, right? You can't be the lone quality guru, right? You can't be the lone ranger, right? You can't, that's not how it's going to work. Because if you do, then you just end up doing all the charts for the company and you don't make any improvements and, and pretty soon they wonder why you're still there and let's reassign you to something that's more productive. I know, because I've seen it happen to a lot of people. All right, so that's my improvement insight for this week. Let's create a hassle-free America. Let's create hassle-free healthcare. Let's go out and improve something this week.